In the beginning, there was darkness everywhere. Then God spoke, and He said, Let creation is light. Yes. Boys and girls, my name is Auntie Shibu, and I want to welcome you to the Creation Us Kids School of Science. School, School of, of Science! Science! God made the world in six days, and on the seventh day, God rested. Do you know what God made on the first day of the week? I'm going to tell you. God made light. The sun is always shining, but when it's night, it's no light, and when it's a day, there's a light. What do you know about light, Naomi? It's shining up. Hmm? It's shining up. Peter, what can you tell me about light? When it's summer, it's, it's way, way hot, and it, when it's hot, the fog. And then, then, then I can just then we go home, eat. It's summertime, and at night we'll sleep. God made the light, oh, and He called it day, oh. He is the light. He made the light, and He called it day, oh. God made the light, oh, and He called it day, oh. The light of the first day, oh, and He called it day, oh. He called it Dale. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was with God in the beginning. Through Him all things were made. Without Him nothing was made that has been made. In Him was life, and that life was the light of all mankind. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. In the beginning, there was darkness everywhere. Then God said, let there be light. God is the first light ever. He made light so we can see and know. Light is a gift from God. And God wrapped his gift just like you get birthday gifts and Christmas gifts or sometimes you get presents and they're wrapped up in wrapping paper. God wrapped the gift of light in science. What do you know about science? Science is exploring God's creation. Well, how do we explore God's creation? Do you know? Well, yeah, we use our eyes and we see. And we use our nose and we smell. When we use our ears, we listen and we hear. When we use our tongue, we taste, and when we use our hands, we touch, and we feel. Science is exploring the world with the senses that God gave us in our bodies, and discovering or experiencing with our senses. So you explore with your senses, and you experience with your senses, and you discover the world that God made. That is science. Have you ever wondered what makes fire burn? How deep is the ocean? What makes leaves green? How far are the stars from your house? What makes birds fly? Why do lions roar? How does food get from your mouth to your stomach? At Creation Us Kids School of Creation Science, we know you have questions. And we have answers in God's creation and in His Word. At Creation Us Kids, we believe God's love for us is pure science. Now let's do an experiment. An experiment is something you do when you want to find something out about nature. 
Experiments are what scientists do. Do you want to be a creation scientist and find out more about the world around you and the world inside of you? Well, you can. Let's just do an experiment. Okay, you wanna see how light works in your body? Let's try this. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, don't look. Put one hand over the eyes and the other hand over the hand. Now, what do you see? I see darkness. Okay, now move one hand to the side and the other hand to the side. Don't peek. Now what do you see? Well, if you have lights on, you can see that there's lights, but can you see anything? Not really. Now open your eyes. Now what do you see? Wow, I see everything in the room. Wow, does that mean that my eyes are like lights? You could say that. Light helps us to see. I mean, there's a sun in the sky, but we don't just stare at the sun. The sun helps us to see everything else. You know what else the sun does? The sun helps to give us life. You want to see how? I'm going to tell you. It's called photosynthesis. Can everybody say photosynthesis? One, two, three. Let's go. Photosynthesis. When people eat food, they put it in the mouth and chew and swallow. Trees make their own food in their leaves to live and grow. But trees and other plants do not chew and swallow. Photosynthesis is what happens when trees make their own food. Photo plus synthesis equals plants make food with sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, and chlorophyll. Photo equals light. Synthesis equals combining small things into one big thing. Sunlight, carbon dioxide, chlorophyll, water. Sunlight plus synthesis equals photosynthesis. We breathe out carbon dioxide and it goes into the leaves of the tree. Water flows into the leaves of the tree from the roots. Sunlight shines on the tree from the sky. Plants then release oxygen for us to breathe. Plants also give us food to eat. Photosynthesis is what happens when trees make their own food. Now we're going to sing a song about light. You ready? Well, I want you to sing by looking at the words on the screen and you're going to march with the music, right? You ready? Okay, here we go. God made the light, oh. On the first day, God made the light and he called it day, oh. On the first day, God made the light and he called it day, oh. L-I-G-H-T-L-I-G-H-T-L-I-G-H-T and he called it day, oh. God made the light, oh. He called a day, oh, he is the light, he made the light, and he called a day, oh, God made the light, oh, and he called a day, oh, the light of the first day, oh, and he called a day, oh, and he called a day, oh, and when the sun is in the sky, you say that it does shine, oh, and when the sun is in the sky, you say that it does shine, oh, S H I N E S H I N E S. H I N E, you say that it the shine oh. God made the light oh, and He called a day oh. He is the light, He made the light, and He called a day oh. God made the light oh, and He called a day oh. The light of the first day oh, and He called a day oh, and He called a day oh. And when the sun does make you squint, you say that it is bright oh. And when the sun does make you squint, you say that it is bright oh. 
R-I-G-H-T-P, R-I-G-H-T-P, R-I-G-H-T. You say that it is bright, oh. And when you light a candle, oh, you say that it's a flame, oh. And when you light a candle, oh, you say that it's a flame, oh. F-L-A-M-E, F-L-A-M-E, F-L-A-M-E. You say that it's a flame, oh. God made the light, oh. Do you like to play games? I like to play games. I have a game here that I really like to play. It's called the Creation Us Kids Creation Cards. You can learn about creation by playing this game. You want to see how it goes? I'm going to show you. All right, are you ready to learn a really, really fun and cool game about creation? Well, these are the Creation Us Kids Creation Cards. They help to teach you the days of creation. Like you can know them automatically, like on the first day God created light, on the second day heaven, on the third day earth, on the fourth day the sun, moon, and stars, on the fifth day the birds and fish, on the sixth day animals and people, and on the seventh day he rested. Do you want to know creation like that? Well, you can by playing these cards. Check this out. Now, Auntie Shibu has to put on her glasses because in order to see sometimes, you got to put on glasses or binoculars. You can use telescopes to see the heavens. And when you want to see spiritual things, you put on the glasses of the Bible. Now, sometimes you just want to use a card. You can learn the Bible easy. The six means the sixth day. Wow, let's see. What did God create on the sixth day? Was it the sun, moon, and stars? No. Was it people? Yeah, God made people on the sixth day. But he made something else on the sixth day. Let me see what we can see. What else? Huh. Yeah, he breathed the breath of life into the nostrils of people. Can you see that? Yeah. And they came to life. But he made something else on the sixth day. Oh, did God make animals? God made animals on the sixth day. Lions and lambs on the sixth day. Let's try another one. Oh, day seven. Let me see if I can find something that goes with day seven. Hmm. Well, a seven is a seven. <laughs> but how about this? Rest, Sabbath, rest, does that go with seven? Sabbath, rest, and seven? Yes, it does. Very good. Now, let me see if we can find a picture that goes with, oh, look at this. Jesus loves me, and he rests with me on day seven. Very good. Did you know that Jesus is a light? The Bible says. He is a light. God is a light. But Jesus said that we are lights too. He said, you are a light. You are the light of the world. And let your light shine so people may see your good works. What does it mean to shine? Make this world a better place. Love people. Give your best. Help your mommies and your daddies and other people that need you. God has called you to be a light. How about it? You want to be a light or you want to be darkness? Light or darkness? And remember, go to bed at night and get a lot of good sleep because at nighttime we sleep and we dream. In the daytime, we wake up and we do good things. Bye for now. That's all the time we have for now. But I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember this. God's love for us is pure science. Creation is here.